Hello crafty travelers, it's Lonnie and it's a beautiful sunny day here in Northern California and I'm leaving for a two week trip with my friend Kelly. Today is Labor Day, September the 5th, 2022. Follow along. I'm a 71 year old woman who loves to camp and travel. Most of the time I take my little schnauzer sneakers with me. I belong to four lady camp groups and one I started in my area. One of the reasons we bought the Mini Winnie was so I could go more on my own or with my lady camper groups. My channel, Crafty Traveler, isn't only about crafting, it's about being crafty smart. When traveling, camping, quilting, and doing crafts. I'm just stopped at a pull off just above Ukiah, actually east of Ukiah, waiting for Kelly. She's on her way. Here she comes. Here she comes. Now, here, we, here go. we go. Where are we going? Today? The, Verde. <laughs> okay, Eastern Sierra okay. trip. Here we go.
Hi, it's Lonnie with Crafty Traveler. And I'm in my motorhome. And Kelly and I made it to Verde, Nevada. We are at Gold Ranch RV Park, which is connected to a casino. There's also a mini mall with Starbucks and a store and a restaurant. And there's a cafe and the casino, although we haven't eaten there yet. They also, in the brochure, give you lots of coupons. So I might be stopping at Starbucks uh, on our way out. Yesterday was uh, September the 5th, and we drove up from home, from our homes, and it was the hottest day of the year. And it didn't get any cooler once we got here. It was about 100 degrees here in Verde when we arrived, about 3 in the afternoon. And, uh, but when I called my husband at like 4 or 5 p.m., he said it was 104 in Willets. That is the hottest day that we have had in Willets. We very seldom get temperatures over 100. And it was supposed to be 115 or so in Ukiah. So I'm um, glad we beat the heat a bit. I uh, ran something I've never done is because I've not had a motorhome with a generator, I put the generator on and I put the AC on in the motorhome while I was driving. It worked terrific. It wasn't super cool, but it was cool enough for me. I suppose I could have turned it up a little, uh, the temperature up or down a little lower, but it was fine. On the flat straight, I did use the truck air conditioner, the cab air conditioner for a while. But when we're starting getting out of Sacramento and going up, I uh, had put the motorhome AC on. It worked great. My gas gauge didn't go down very much. And um, it didn't put the drag on the engine that we have had in the past when pulling a trailer and having to use the AC in the truck. So that was a good experience and I will remember to do that more often when it's hot. Last night it cooled down to in the 70s and I slept well with just uh, my max fan going and some windows open and there is a little traffic noise. You might hear it and there's a distant train but the distant train didn't bother me. It helped put me to sleep. But after a while, I did use my earplugs to sleep with. On the way, we saw this. We were going east, and those folks were going west. They were going back to the cities. And I'm so glad that we were in that mess. I had no problem pulling the car. We stopped twice, once at Granzella's, I always stop at Granzella's, to get sandwiches to make or to have for lunch, and then uh, also some olives. I got to have their olives. Now, I left my house at 7.30 in the morning, and I met up with Kelly at the turnout at about 8, and we got to Granzella's a little after 10. And then left Granzella's and went through Sacramento, got to before Truckee. So it was west of Truckee, the rest stop. And we stopped there and uh, ate our lunch. I turned my car off uh, at Granzella's and turned it back on again. I have to go through this procedure for the transmission each time I stop longer than 15 minutes. I don't even go 15 minutes. And then again, when we stopped for lunch, I turned the car off. And then when we were ready, I turned it back on and went through the procedure. So that was no issue. Got to uh, Verde a little after two. And there was a really good gas station right here. And it's actually the least expensive gas. Uh, I looked it up on Gas Buddy. So that was perfect. We drove right in, gassed up, checked in, got into the RV park, 
and I was in my site with my electricity plugged in at 3 o'clock. <laughs> Because I had to get that AC back on. I turned the generator off when I stopped for gas. And then I got that electrical plug in and got the AC plugged in. So the camper, my camper was very cool. Kelly's on the other hand, because she just used her engine camper until she got here and got plugged in. It was a little warm. So she came over and we had a chat and, and talked and, and uh, talked about what we were going to have for dinner. Anyway, so all is well. I have full hookups uh, and cable, which I haven't put the cable in. I'm going to get away from cable for a while. And there is Wi-Fi, but we're too far out in the park. I don't even, it doesn't even register on my computer, and it won't come on my phone. So luckily I have 4G, and I can check my email and Facebook with that. I have Google Fi phone. And if I use more data than I'm allowed, I just pay a little extra, which no problem. So that's easy enough. And then uh, after we ate, we went down to the pool. And here's a couple videos of the pool. Here's the pool. And there goes Kelly. You think it's 70 degrees? Oh, you can go in the water with your glasses on. I'm not going to get my head in there. But I, I got glasses and contacts. And the water was really cold. I didn't get in all the way. Kelly did, but uh, it was too cold. But it was very refreshing just to put my feet in the water and get my legs and arms wet and cooled us down nicely. Here's our site at Gold Ranch Casino and RV Park. That's Kelly over there, and I'm here in number 81. And that's my full hookups. I've hooked up the water and the electricity. Electricity was first because I had to get the air conditioning on. There's also cable, which I never hooked up. And then, of course, there's sewer back here, which I'm not hooked up to at the moment but I will have to hook up and dump when I leave. And it's a pretty good park. It's a lot of spaces. It's kind of pricey, about 60 bucks a night. And I don't think they give any discounts. But it's a pretty area. Yes, there is some traffic noise and there's a distant train. I did sleep with uh, earplugs. There's our trash right there. The shower and restrooms are down by the pool. I think I showed you the pool. We had a little rain last night. Very refreshing. I didn't hear any thunder and I hope there wasn't any thunder and lightning uh, on the, in the mountains. Okay, gotta go get ready. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching all the way through. I really appreciate it. Stay crafty.